I want to believe that you haven't turned into your grandfather overnight, but thinking that taking me to court and forcing me to have this baby is any kind of reasonable solution is classic quartermain. I'm not trying to force you into anything. I just want you to want our baby, okay? And maybe if you would stop fighting me all the time and just let yourself feel what's going on inside of you, you'll realize that you do. You obviously haven't even thought about me at all. Why would I want to have this baby, Dylan? Because we're so in love? Because we're planning a future together? Because I'm 18 and I'm done experiencing all the possibilities of life and I'm ready to turn myself over to the care and feeding of some pooping child that we didn't ever want? I get all the stuff you're no, saying. You know what? I... I don't think you do. I don't think you've thought about it beyond what this baby means to you and to your family. Let's not forget about them. You say what you will about the quartermains, but they stand ready and willing to help us with this child. This kid would grow up with a family, unlike oh. you and me. Oh! Oh! So let's have a baby to make up for our lousy childhoods. That's a brilliant idea, Dylan. That is such a good reason to have a baby. What about your dreams and your aspirations? All you've ever wanted to do was direct. You know what? I asked you this question and you never answered it, so I'm going to ask you again. Are you going to hand the baby off to Alice and to nannies and to tutors and, God forbid, Edward and Tracy? Is it going to be drooling out of a little snuggly hanging on the back of your director's chair? You haven't thought about the downsides, just like you never thought about them when you married Georgie. Speaking of Georgie, what about her, Dylan? Do you think she's really going to give up her dreams to be a second, maybe even a third mother to this child? When do you think that she's going to start resenting you and this baby? Okay, it's, you know what? It's not a perfect situation, Lulu, but we had sex and you're pregnant and now we have to deal with it no matter what we have to give up. Meaning you'll take me to court and force me to have it? No, because I don't believe you'd push me to that. Don't count on it. I'm sorry. Is Georgie around? You know I have us here. Well, can I help you? That depends on if I'm going to get the lecture on adoption versus abortion. You know me, I'm just here to listen. Huh, you have no idea how much I appreciate that. You'd better not be here for an abortion. What? Are you, are you following me? No, I'm here for a board meeting, but I will have you followed, or I'll take any other means necessary to make certain that you carry this baby to term. And if it means getting a court injunction to stop this abortion, so be it. Haven't you quarter means done enough? It's your fault that I'm pregnant in the first place. If it wasn't for your stupid, defective enduro condoms, who knows how many women are pregnant by mistake because of you? It's family business. I am pregnant because of ELQ's negligence. It was one bad batch. Of condoms. People rely on those to work. And what are you doing about it besides trying to cover the whole thing up? That's none of your concern. Fine. I'll let it go if you agree to... Back off the threat of taking me to court. And if you don't, I'll call a press conference and tell everyone about how enduro condoms are defective and anyone who turned up unexpectedly pregnant should sue ELQ. Now, unlike your father, I believe that you have a conscience. And I suggest that you let that be your guide. <laughs> right, like... Edward Quartermain's going to be scared off because some snot-nosed kid threw out a threat. What am I going to do if the Quartermain's get an injunction? Listen to me. I know that you are living in a very scary and confusing world right now, but you've got to block it out. You've got to decide what you want to do. Find somebody you can trust, somebody who doesn't have an agenda, and talk it through. Okay, well, that rules out Lucky, and I don't want to put you in the middle of it. My life would be so much simpler if these enduro condoms just have worked. Got your back. I need help. You see that button out there? It's a doorbell. No time. What's wrong? I'm pregnant. Oh, that's huge. Yeah, tell me about it. I feel like the top of my head's gonna blow off. I assume Dylan's the oh, of course. And before I get the safe sex lecture, I will remind you that we used condoms just so like they were defective. Watch, there's gonna be a population explosion in this city in about eight months. In the meantime, my life is a total train wreck. Dylan's gone back with Georgie. They're more in love than ever, and I'm a complication. And the court mates want this baby so badly that they're threatening me with a court order to have it so that they can raise it. And then there's Lucky screaming at me about killing a baby, and Dylan is going on and on about being a father, and he's not ready to be one any more than I am, and I just need one person on my side. <laughs> You know you help me. 
understand. I'm pregnant. Thank you. Look at me. What can I do for you? I need you to tell me if I should have an abortion or not. Hi. Some advice for morning sickness, eat saltines. If you feel like snacking, you should snack. Thanks. As far as abortion goes, that's your decision. Hmm. You and Georgie seem to get that, although Georgie isn't exactly neutral. She has a lot to gain if I don't have this baby. How do you feel? I don't want to be anybody's mother. And... I don't want to carry around a baby for nine months just to hand it off to somebody else. I mean, I know it sounds selfish, but what about me? I didn't get pregnant on purpose. I tried not to. At least, I know you're as selfish as I am. Yeah. Thanks. So what would you do? Probably not what you'd expect. When I found out that Bobby gave me up for adoption, I was furious. And it took years for me to get past that. Years of acting out, years of getting revenge, years of being self-destructive. And then one day I realized Bobby could have had an abortion. It certainly would have been a lot easier. But she didn't. And I'm alive, and I'm kind of happy about that. I've had two children, Lulu. I don't think I could ever terminate a pregnancy, but that's me. You need to decide what you want to do. Well, Lulu is her father's daughter, after all. She's threatening to go public with this whole Enduro debacle if we force her into having the child. We're backing down? Good boy. You said we. <laughs> You're learning. Lesson number two. We never back down. We'll find someone to take the fall at ELQ. And in the meantime, if every young woman in upstate New York turns up pregnant and files a lawsuit against us, your child will be born. <laughs>